So I've always wanted to do really cool time lapses like I always see on YouTube and in really cool films and things like that, but I've never gotten into work with my T3i here that I've been using for quite some time. I installed Magic Lantern and tried to set up the intervalometer to do so, and all it did was overheat my camera. And so eventually I just gave up. The only kinds of uh, time lapses I did were in video form. But then while doing laundry one day, I saw an ad for this, the Sirp Genie Mini. And I decided to send them a review request just to see if I could try it out. I like what I found. So this is the Sirp Genie Mini. It is a device that actually goes between your camera and your tripod head or either your camera and your tripod with a tripod head on top of it, which, which has an automated motor inside and allows you to set up automated time lapses with your smartphone to do some really cool stuff. Now, it came in this really cool, just totally well done packaging that opens up and you get a cloth inside, the little cable specific for your camera. Mine is a T3i, so it has this little 2.5 millimeter cable, but for your camera, you may have a mini USB cable or something like that. And the cork on the both sides, the camera side and the tripod side, is like real cork. So as soon as you open the box, oh, it smelled so wonderful. It smelled really freaking good. That's really weird to say, but like, you know, the, 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 the experience people say of like, opening a brand new book and enjoying the smell, or opening, you know, new car smell, things like that. New cork smell can be kind of cool, especially when you haven't encountered something like this in a while. It's, it's kind of like an antique kind of thing, almost. But just this little round hockey puck, basically, that has a Bluetooth power button, a mini USB, or micro USB cable for charging, a camera port, and then a plus port. Honestly, don't know what the plus port does. And it has a standard tripod screw mount for your camera, and on the back it has a threaded hole mount for your tripod plate or there is a little adapter inside that you can unscrew and attach it to the tripod base itself with the bigger threaded mount. Setup almost made me want to throw this out the window, but for whatever reason it may have been to do with my phone. I was trying to set it up with my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 because it has both iOS and Android apps and my main phone is the Note 5 which is a fairly new running very, very updated Android very capable smartphone. Downloaded the Syrup app, connected via Bluetooth, and I ran into nothing but issues. It kept disconnecting the Bluetooth as I was trying to set up settings and asking me to reconnect, and then I'd have to start over 500 times, and then finally it popped up and saying, we don't know what, what uh, firmware your Genie Mini is running, let's update it so it'll function better. I was like, well that might explain the issues. Update firmware. We can't update your firmware from this device. What? Tried it like three times, restarted my phone, just couldn't do it. So I had to boot up my ancient iPhone 4S that I bought for making Anchor recordings, since that's only an iOS app at the moment. And I had to charge it in the first place because I haven't used it in forever and it was totally dead. Charge it up, download the app, and then connect it, and it updated the Bluetooth fine. Or updated the, it updates the firmware over Bluetooth just fine, and it started behaving better. No more disconnect issues, no issues whatsoever. Then you go through and you can either select one of their time-lapse presets if you've already got, you know, something, you're, you're doing something basic like a sunset, sunrise, things like that. It even has settings for GoPros, or you can make your own, which is what I did. I haven't had a chance, I've been, I was dying to use this to go out and do like a cool nature time-lapse or something. And at the time of recording this part of the video, I've not done so. If I get the chance to do so before this video goes up, then I will of course include that here. But instead I just recorded a brief time lapse, about 30 minutes I think, of me shooting b-roll of all these products that I've been shooting with this rental camera I have. And it was fairly straightforward. You set the angle and how, how many degrees you want the camera to rotate, how long you want the camera to record for, how long you want your final video to be. And then you, so you change uh, the interval, how quickly it takes pictures, how long it's recording, you know, how long it's taking pictures for, how long you intend the final video to be, and your target frame rate. And all of those play into play, and you're gonna know, play into the calculation, and it tells you when you have the settings that wrong, like when you have, you know, if you have it set too short or too long or what have you. What kept throwing me off is the rotation part, because it shows you just a circle with the rotation and the rotation direction and how many degrees. It shows you as an overhead view, and I had it sitting off in a distance with a side view. And it's like anything I did, it kept turning the wrong way from what I want, and I just got really frustrated. But then I picked up, hey, derp face, it's a over-the-top view, and so I need to look at it from above and calculate my angle that way. Worked out fine.
but once you figure out what you're doing and stop being a dummy like me, setup is super simple and you just control it via an iPhone app you, it, or Android app too. It, it, it was way easier to set up than even the inner velometer in my magic lantern on my T3i. It was, and especially if you use one of the presets, it's like two buttons and you're ready to start shooting and it just takes the pictures until you're done and then it stops. And you can stop it at any time, cancel it. You can preview where your camera's gonna be at the start and end points. Very easy to use, very small product, and it charges very quickly and seems to have a fairly decent battery life as well. My, uh, another issue I had is when I, uh, when you're doing the test, like when, it, when it's adjusting itself to do the test of where it starts and ends, since it's not supposed to be spinning a whole lot in the first place, the motor in it is very loud. Of course, you don't hear this when it's taking pictures because it's only mu moving by like fractions of degrees every now and then. But when it's doing a full rotation spin, it's just like, eh, it, it, it's very obnoxious, but that's okay. They also have a video mode if you want to take a video time lapse, but pretty freaking cool little device. And I highly recommend it if you're wanting to do time lapses with your DSLR. My name has been Adam Reeples Vox. I hope you enjoyed this review. Product links to the Sirp Genie Mini will be in the description down below. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. As soon as I start recording, some kid starts making bird sounds outside. Great start to the video.